This video is going to be very specific to those people who have completed their entire data science course, who are done working on the projects and now they are aggressively applying for jobs. But somehow they are struggling to get their CV shortlisted for an interview. We will discuss some quick fixes that you can apply in order to tackle this issue. My name is Vikash and you are watching Pivot Point. So first thing that I would suggest that you should have a niche specific CV. I'll tell you what I mean. So most of the people when they initially apply for data science job, they will mention all kind of projects within their CV starting from machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, NLP, everything you will be able to find within one specific CV. And by the way, there is nothing wrong in that. If you want to showcase yourself as a versatile data scientist, you should mention all these projects within your CV. However, if you want to have an added advantage, then you can use this trick that choose one of your favorite domain. It could be NLP, it could be computer vision, it could be data visualization, it could be machine learning as well. In fact, you can also go for the project specific only from finance domain. That also will be a very good option. And after making this choice, use project only from that specific area to showcase on your CV. And once you do this, you will definitely have an added advantage. Let's say that there is an opening specific for an NLP engineer. And let's say eight out of 10 applications will have combined kind of projects. It will have machine learning, deep learning, NLP, time series, everything. But only two CVs or two applications are there that have specific projects only from NLP area. In that case, the recruiter will be more likely to pay attention to those two candidates compared to the other eight candidates. If you also try to think logically, let's say that you are looking for a tutor who can teach you physics. In that case, let's say you have five applications and out of them, four are those tutors who teaches five subjects. It could be biology, physics or maths, etc. But there is one tutor who is specific to physics, who is expert in physics specifically. In that case, you can only decide that that which tutor you will select for yourself. And the same logic is applied in CV selection as well. Secondly, I would suggest that you try to avoid mentioning any irrelevant job experience when you are applying for a data science job role. So I have observed this issue with most of the people who are currently working in a different job role, but they are trying to make a transition into data science. So let's assume that you are someone who is currently working as a software tester and next you are willing to work or make a transition as a data scientist. And let's say there is an opening where there is a requirement for Python, SQL, machine learning and data visualization. And you have done projects with all of these skills, but in your current job role, you are still working as a software tester. Then within your CV, most of the area should be occupied with your machine learning projects where you have used these skills, these required skills of Python, SQL or machine learning. And let's say instead of that, what you are doing is the experience you have gathered as a software tester, you are covering most of the part of your CV from that experience. That won't be a good idea because let's say if I am a recruiter and I am looking for someone who has done some good projects within the machine learning area with Python or SQL. And then I get to see a CV where most of the experience or prior job experience is irrelevant. And I'm not saying that the work you've been doing is not good. That is definitely a very reputed and hardworking experience that you have gained. But you also need to understand that you are trying to make a transition to a different field. And over there, I'm also not suggesting that you completely hide your prior experience. Don't do that. Of course, you need to be very open when you are talking about your current job role. You should not be hiding it from the recruiters. But you should always try to push the conversation to that direction where you have done projects in machine learning, Python and SQL using the skills which is required for this specific job role where you are applying. Still a lot of people are missing out to understand that the length of your CV should not exceed more than one page. I understand that you could be someone who has learned a lot of degrees, diplomas or PhD or maybe someone who has a very good job experience, who has worked in a lot of good projects. But in contrast, another important thing is that the average time duration a recruiter spends while reviewing one application is only 15 to 20 seconds, which means 
you should be mentioning only those relevant things on your CV which is absolutely needed for that specific opening where you are applying. For any specific opening, if you will go to the skill requirement section, then that specific thing won't be covering more than half a page. And if you are answering that thing with a three page CV, that is clearly not a good idea. Even if you are someone who has all the potential skill set or prior project experience in order to crack that job role, still your CV won't be selected. So please make sure that you create a nice one page CV that should contain all the relevant information that should talk about only those projects or skill set which is required specific to that opening where you are applying. Adding anything extra to that clearly won't be a good idea. And there are websites like Novo Resume and a lot of other sites as well that helps you a lot in order to create an efficient CV of only one page. I have tried this and gained a lot of value out of it and I advise you the same. So this particular idea could be absolutely game changing for you. Applying only this single trick on my CV has benefited me a lot and I wish the same for you as well. So let's say that there is an opening where you are interested about and if you will go to the job description section then you will get to see a few pointers talking about the roles and responsibilities for that opening. It could say something like handling and analyzing large data set with the help of Python or SQL. A strong understanding on machine learning tips like regression or classification etc. Building end-to-end -end pipeline for a data analysis project and excellent communication skill to work with the ad hoc request of your stakeholders. These are few of the examples of the roles and responsibilities that you will come across any kind of random opening. And what you need to do is use the keywords from all these pointers on your CV. So let's say the opening is talking about you should have an excellent communication skill in order to deal with stakeholders and work on the ad hoc request. So you need to mention this thing on your CV that you have very strong communication skill and you have a good experience working closely with your stakeholders and fulfilling their job requirements. Or let's say the top requirement is that you should have the ability of building end-to-end -end pipeline for any data analysis project. Then you should mention that specific kind of project which is very closely related to that requirement and then mention that on your CV. Now please pay attention, I am absolutely not talking about mentioning any fake experience. I am not talking about faking your experience in front of the recruiters. This is definitely a bad idea and it will backfire you at some point of time even if you are clearing a job role. So if you want to use these keywords from the roles and responsibility section to your CV then you need to make sure that you should have a lot of projects within your portfolio. So let's say you have done 35 or 50 projects within your portfolio then choose only 3 to 5 projects and talk about them that is closely related to the job requirement or the roles and responsibility. And this will be an excellent trick in order to grab the attention of the recruiters. And of course in order to do this you will have to customize your CV for each and every opening where you are applying. And this is a very good practice. Let's say that you have a generalized CV that you are using in order to apply for all kind of job roles. Then definitely it will not give you an impressive success rate. So for each and every job role where you are applying. I suggest that you read the job role and responsibility section very clearly and try to resonate with that, try to bring the keywords from that requirement to your CV. So mentioning on your CV about your skill set, your job experience, the projects you have done is a very good idea. However, you get an added advantage when you also give a resource or a medium in order to validate all these information. I am talking about providing the link for your social media handles like LinkedIn, Kaggle or GitHub etc. So that after going through your CV, after knowing about your skill set, the projects you have done, your job experience, recruiters also get a point of validation where they can verify that the information you are providing to them, how genuine it is. This idea can help you a lot in order to stand apart from the crowd and to get your CV shortlisted for an interview. Nowadays, any good companies are not solely relying on the information mentioned on your CV. They also need some point of validation like link for your GitHub account, your LinkedIn profile. These things will be very helpful to gain some trust from the recruiter. And thus, it is also suggested that you stay active on all these places. Whatever work you are doing, let's say every month you are doing two new projects or one new project every month, you should be updating or talking about your progress on these social media handles. And let the community 
community know that how you are progressing in your career and how you are gaining the expertise. So hopefully if you are someone who has completed the entire data science course, who is done with their studies and has completed working on all the projects which is required to build an awesome portfolio. If you apply all the tips mentioned throughout this video and use all these best practices on your CV then hopefully you will get a very good response rate after applying for jobs. Subscribe to the channel if you like watching this kind of content. On this channel I am trying my best to help out people who are trying to make a transition into analytics. I am sharing my best practices over here that I have learned so far in my job experience and trying to contribute as much as possible to your journey now. Smash the like button if you like watching this kind of content and I will see you in the next video.